Before self-proclaimed models were being discovered on Instagram for their likes and follower count, thousands of girls lined up to get a shot at being in some of the hottest rappers' and singers' music videos. We got to see these women on MTV, BET, or for explicit content, BET on Cut. In the late 80s and early 90s, women started becoming a prominent accessory and object for rap videos, thanks to Two Life Crew. As the mid to late 90s and early 2000s came around, rappers relied heavily on women's looks to make their videos entertaining or catch viewers' attention. Oftentimes, we saw the same girls in all of the hottest music videos, but never knew their names or their stories. Things changed when King Magazine was created in 2002, and these eye candies started getting their own spreads and interviews. Then, other men's and hip-hop magazines followed. These magazines helped the women get their names out there and expand their brands to acting, music, or modeling for streetwear brands. It was exhausting seeing the overwhelming amount of light skin or racially ambiguous girls being front and center. But this era brought up the conversations about misogyny and colorism in rap culture. Here's what some of those women are up to today. This is 2000's Video Vixens, Where Are They Now? Part 2. Tawny Doll started appearing in music videos in the late 1990s. She can be seen in videos such as Gravel Pit by Wu-Tang Clan, YBE by Prodigy of Mob Deep, Make It Clap by Busta Rhymes, Set It Off by Juvenile, Jay-Z's Change the Game featuring Beanie Siegel, and the list continues. She collaborated with singer Tyrese several times for videos like I Like Them Girls and Just a Baby Boy, and she played the role of Pandora in the 2001 film Baby Boy alongside Tyrese. Tawny went on to have roles in the films Dirty Game and Beauty Shop. Since then, Tawny has obtained a bachelor's degree of science in nursing, and she currently works as a registered nurse. April Clark is best known for her role as Tandi in the 2006 film ATL. But before that, she was known as Caroline in the Roses music video by Outkast in 2004. April first started doing music videos in 2001 when the late rapper Camouflage chose her to be the leading lady in his music video. After that, she appeared in music videos such as Dungeon Family Trans DF Express, Mystical's Bouncing Back, Ludacris's Nasty Girl, and Sleepy Brown's Sunday Morning. In addition to ATL, she had roles in the films Stump the Yard and Foreplay, and a minor role in the television series Torchwood. April went to college for mixed media and animation, and she now works as a health and fitness instructor. Leslie Lewis is a dancer who is most known for dancing alongside Aaliyah before she tragically died. Leslie appeared in Aaliyah's More Than a Woman and Rock the Boat music videos. She attended LaGuardia High School of Music and Art and Performing Arts and went on to work with Usher, Will Smith, Jennifer Lopez, Chris Brown, Diddy, Rihanna, Sierra, and countless others. She was featured in Wyclef's Pussycat video and starred in Chris Brown's Say Goodbye and Gimme That music videos. In 2005, she formed the girl group Electric Red with three other professional dancers slash video vixens. All of the ladies once appeared in Sierra's Like a Boy music video as backup dancers. And in 2009, Def Jam's L.A. Reid and Shakir Stort signed the group. Electric Red released their debut album, How To Be A Lady, Volume 1, that year. But that would be their only studio album. Leslie eventually obtained a Bachelor's of Science degree in Psychology and Social Work from St. John's University and graduated with Dean's List Honors. She now works as a talent manager and is developing aspiring artists. Sincerely Ward is an actress, producer, and model best known for appearing in Cisco's Can I Live music video. Sincerely appeared in countless music videos in the 2000s like Area Codes by Ludacris, Chicken Head by Project Pat, Pussycat by Wyclef, 
Can't Deny by Fabulous, Method Man and Red Man's How High Part 2, Where the Party At, and Let's Get Married by Jagged Edge. In addition to music videos, she also graced the pages of XXL, King Magazine, and Black Men's Magazine. Sincerely eventually expanded her career to acting and appeared in Bad Boys 2, Soul Plane, Too Fast, Too Furious, and Spider-Man. In recent years, she's been on several reality TV shows like The New Atlanta, WeTV's Match Made in Heaven, and E! Network's WAGS. She eventually attended college at Clayton State University, majoring in business marketing and is the owner of a body cleansing company named Clean Start and a clothing line called Jet Set Culture Resort Wear. In addition to being a businesswoman, she's also busy raising her teenage daughter. Esther Baxter is best known for appearing in Petey Pablo's Freak A Leak video in 2004. She went on to appear in over 25 popular music videos like Ludacris's Georgia, Chingy's One Call Away, Twista's Overnight Celebrity, Nelly's Shake Your Tail Feather, Kanye West's The New Workout Plan, and Ja Rule's Caught Up. Esther did spreads for magazines such as The Source, Smooth, Vibe, King, and XXL. She was given the Video Goddess Award at the Vibe Awards for her appearance in the Austin Powers themed video for Ludacris's single, Number One Spot. In 2004, she was the cover girl for Reggae Goal 2004. In the mid to late 2000s, she stopped modeling to care for her son born in 2007 and attended college. She moved to New York and started taking acting classes at Black Nexus Acting Studios and the Tasha Smith Acting Workshop in Los Angeles. She landed acting roles in the comedies Meet the Browns and Real Husbands of Hollywood and the film Speed Dating. Esther has since launched her own lingerie line called Belange and runs a food blog named EB Delights. Nicole Narain rose to fame in the early 2000s when she started appearing in Playboy videos. In January 2002, she was named Playmate of the Month. She started appearing in music videos like RL's song, Got Me a Model, David Banner's Play, LL Cool J's Love You Better, Mario Winans' I Don't Wanna Know, Keith Murray's Candy Bar, and Fabulous's Baby. Nicole started doing reality television and competed on the NBC show Fear Factor on the Playboy Playmates edition episode. In 2006, she was sued by Irish actor Colin Farrell after an adult tape of them was leaked. Colin and Nicole briefly dated back in 2003. Colin stated that he wanted her help to stop the tape from being released, but she allegedly refused to help him, which made him believe she was responsible for the release. But Nicole denied releasing the tape, and the two later settled the suit. Over the years, she was rumored to be linked to Fred Durst, Nelly, and 50 Cent. In 2009, she appeared on Sex Rehab with Dr. Drew. Nicole has maintained a private life since then. What other video vixens would you guys like me to cover in the future? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below, and subscribe to Black Femininity TV for more content.